Hello my lovelies, here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's get right into your reading Aquarius. Let's see what spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. So we have the codependency, past life relationship, attraction, children, passion, and love yourself first. Oof, heavy energy. All right, Aquarius. In the present, um, for some of you guys, there may be codependency issues that you're currently dealing with or that you need to work through in order to be able to overcome this obstacle in the present time when it comes to love and romance. Now, codependency issues could be addictions uh, of any kind. It could be addic addiction to sex, addiction to alcoholism, um, drinking, uh, drugs, pills, anything like that. Weed. Um, now, don't attack me, all of you guys out there. <laughs> that too, weed. Weed is not a drug. Oh, it doesn't matter. If you overdo something, that is in some shape, way, or form an addiction. Even food could be an addiction. So again, what they're saying here is that there is issues in regards to codependency. For some of you guys, it could be that codependency issues often find themselves um, come up in relationships for you because you are usually attracted to people that could have or overdo of something that it becomes more important to them than the actual relationship. And the reason I say that is because I do have attraction and attraction usually indicates that's what you're being pulled towards. So I feel that for some of you guys, you know, especially those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, uh, it could be that you find yourself being in relationships with people that either have some type of like drug abuse, alcoholism, um, anything like that. And oftentimes you find yourself like the relationship falling apart. This could be you as well, that you attract people that have a codependency issue. And this could be within even yourself, like a relationship. So what I mean by that is you could find yourself being with people uh, that have or the need to be in control of a relationship. So the moment you start to pull away, like you usually do Aquarius to gather your thoughts, um, they start to freak out. So they, then you start having constant arguments and fights because they're either wanting to be very possessive, very jealous, that type of energy. Now, right at the center, you have past life relationship. You have known each other before. What they're saying here is if you are still to this point dealing with the person from your past that was extremely toxic in the relationship that you were in with them and they're still present in, their, in your life, in some shape way or form it could be because you guys had a past life type of connection but past life relationships don't necessarily mean that it's a soulmate connection because karmic relationships are also past life relationships and when we're talking about karmic connections those are heavier type of energies those are people that are extremely explosive in a relationship and we feel like we they literally make us go crazy but the reason for that is because they're our shadow side they're things that we need to work out that they need to work out together in a relationship because it was a signed karmic contract so again if you are dealing with that type of energy where a person from your past still has major influence over your life it could be because it was a karmatic type of relationship now for some of you guys children could be involved perhaps it could be the mother of your child for others of you it could be the father of your child um, and what they're saying is that it is important to embrace passion right it's important to allow your heart and soul to sing with joy to follow the pursuits of what your heart desires but at the same time when it comes to relationships it is crucial and important to love yourself first now, this is specifically connected to those of you guys that have been single for a very long time. You may find yourself to be attracted or be pulled towards people that are emotionally unavailable. And the reason for that is because there is lack of self-love in you. Now, this could be people around you that 
you know told you or made you think that you deserve less this could have all to do with childhood traumas this has all to do with the people that you know were teaching you or were um the people that you were around growing up and again like i said i feel that what they're saying here is it, it is important to understand that you need to love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so again if you often find yourself being in relationships where codependency is an issue where people maybe even dealing with partners that are still not over their ex and they're still dealing with them or people that are un emotionally unavailable to you it's time to stop entertaining that and walk away from that you deserve better than that and don't allow anyone to tell you how you need to be treated you teach them what you allow and what you don't allow and it starts with loving yourself aquarius now i'm going to be pulling out two cards and these are the energies that are currently influencing and affecting you for this month remaining of august and you have pisces and sagittarius energy for some of you guys you may be dealing with the pisces for others of you you may be dealing with the sagittarius or these are just the energies and what they're telling you is for this remaining of the month is very important to connect with your intuition pay attention to that if you are dealing with someone that if you're dealing with someone that is overprotective or that is very possessive and very jealous but when it comes to you asking them or questioning them they don't want to give you any answers be careful with that if your intuition is telling you that perhaps they're still connected to an ex or that they may in fact still be in a relationship um this is all to do with paying attention spiritual emotional uh, oceanic self uh i I, I what is it called illogical sorry <laughs> i was like what is it called um this is all to do pisces to me could represent the pisces energy but i feel that it has more to do with the pisces energy and yes though sometimes they may promise you the world and it's fine and exciting to you know kind of lose ourselves in that dream like pisces is a very dreamy type of energy it's important to be practical and to see things from a grounding point so again if they are very possessive over jealous often you know blaming you for uh, cheating etc and when you question them it's like they become so offended pay attention to that because those are red flags now you also have sagittarius energy here the voyager this is to do with enthusiastic philosophical independent generous seeking happy go lucky don't allow other people that have hurt you or that have let you down on multiple occasions don't let them have an effect on how you feel or how you view yourself aquarius and remember when people have such major impact in how like an example if you're having an amazing day and they just start to be so aggressive and like i said like uh, constantly judging you or making you feel less than um if you allow them to have that impact in you then you're giving up your power it's time for you to take your power back aquarius it's time for you to detach yourself from what people have told you this is how love is this is what you need to deal with or this is what you need to put up with because in the past you messed up we've all messed up at some point in our lives and it's about what we do now in the present and moving forward uh that is going to directly impact our future okay i hope that gives you some type of insight and we will see each other soon bye